What's up guys, going for an all mission clear on Sin, um, party of four or less within five turns, no KOs, um, not sure what all the boss's mechanics are, um, I'm killing on turn three with this strategy, I know we see some uh, gravity attack on turn one, um, another m single hit magic attack on turn two. I tried going past turn three, and there were some AoE physicals and um, more magic attacks. So we're just going to burst it on turn three and avoid all that nastiness on turn turn three. But anyway, here's the team. Um, not sure who the biggest carry is here. I'm guessing Orin. Um, it's got... So I don't think it has any innate elemental weaknesses. It's 100% resist to everything, and it has 2.1 billion HP. Uh, attack and magic can't be broken. Um, what else? What else? Um, yeah, so, I mean, we are using SLB units to burst. Um, so EX3 is kind of required for that. I don't know if EX1 or EX2, Orin and Titus could do the job, but yeah, might play around with this later in the week, but for now I just wanted to get a clear in. So Titus we have uh, built with uh, Katana, just to take advantage of Orin's Katana of Imperil, just got, you know, best in select gear, Titus' spirit, and everyone has a source of guts. Um, but yeah, here's his build, uh, LB damage against fairies, so full LB, full fairy killer, and he's got Orin's card, uh, Waka, honestly, he doesn't need that vision card, his, did try to gear him for damage initially, and kind of changed that up, it's whatever, I mean, so here's that. I didn't even realize he doesn't even have an imbue, so I'm just going to be chaining with non-elemental, uh, a non-elemental skill on the kill turn. So he's ba basically just a breaker and a chain bot. Uh, Yuna is here, just, uh, honestly, she's more or less a chain bot too. She's not bringing a ton to the party. Um... Maybe I should give her some more LB fill. Oh, actually, her base form LB... Yeah, that doesn't do anything for anybody else. Um, yeah, she's, again, just another chain bot. So you could, you could swap her with whoever. But, I mean, she was given out for free recently. And hopefully you have her to EX1 by now. But she's passive provoke evade with uh, status ailment resistance. Um, trying to remember, is this the one that gives preemptive? Yes, it is. I actually didn't mean to equip that. I was just trying to gear her for bulk. Bulk. Um, we'll try this. Hopefully, we don't have to buff status and. Immunity. Hopefully just being status immune is enough. But anyway, again, source of guts, passive in base form, passive provoke, evade, and shift form. She's got uh, Seymour's staff. Um, just tried to build her for evo damage. I really hate trying to gear units for evo damage. Um, that's just me. But anyway, there's her gear. And then Orin, uh, more, you know, best in slot gear. I'm sure it's overkill. Source of guts. Uh, a flat attack card. Um, full fairy, full LB. So, we'll get into it. <clears throat>
we turn one with Titus, we are going to imbue wind, uh, imperil light, and then Ace's ability for a buff. Uh, Orin is just going to LB. Walker is going to LB. And Yuna is going to staff in peril and then uh, mitigate. It's actually... Yeah, it's a partial fairy mitigation. Doesn't really matter, honestly. So here's some single target physical, a gravity attack. So Titus this turn is gonna type us a spirit. Oren is gonna do his stuff. So just uh, Guardian's Duty, Ominous Storm, and then whatever. Yuna is going to him of the Faith. And Waka is going to... Oh. Yeah, again. If he had an imbue, I would use it now. But... Yeah, it's whatever. We'll just heal with him. He could have just guarded, honestly. So, big magic attack that we got. Uh, some single target physical. So, now we will kill. So, we'll SLB with Titus. SLB with Orin. Waka is just going to chain. Triple cast. Bolting strike. And Yuna is going to shift. And Bolting Strike. So we'll send Orin. Send Titus a second later. Wait a couple more seconds and then send the Chainers. And hopefully everyone caps. Well, our two LB finishers. Hopefully they both cap. Um, Sin does have a 1% HP lock. So if you burst and you see it's HP left at 1%. That's normal, don't freak out. It, it'll retreat after that and you'll win the fight. So, here we go. accomplished so let's see so yeah I mean Oren did like double Titus's damage but I mean uh, just to call it out the boss has 2.1 billion HP so I mean you might be able to do this if you just have NVA eject or yect however it's pronounced or, you know, ju just another burster, or you could try to um, maybe bring somebody that would pump up Yuna's damage. Um, yeah. I'm sure there are other options. Because, I mean, if we're hitting 1.5 billion with Titus, and we would only need to make up, you know, pretty much half a billion. And a quarter of that, you know, or. Half of that half billion is coming from Yuna, so maybe Jack could do a quarter billion. I don't know. But anyway, there's my clear. Thanks for watching. Now uh, let's confirm all missions. Yep. So basically just some uh, passive provoke evader with some status immunity, I'm assuming. Um... Guts for turn two and then just burst on turn three. So, thanks for watching. Catch you later.